تؤدي النجمة البريطانية أميليا كلارك في فيلم حرب النجوم الأخير سولو دور شخصية يكسوها الغموض وهي كيرا حبيبة هان سولو التي يتم القبض عليها خلال محاولتهما الهرب من كوكبهما كوريلا وعندما يعود سولو ويلتقي بها بعد ثلاثة أعوام يجدها تعمل لحساب رئيس عصابة إجرامية وتحولت شخصيتها من اللعوبة المرحة إلى الماكرة الغامضة ما يميز شخصية كيرا هو أنها تطرح لأول مرة في حرب نجوم وتبقى على قيد الحياة بينما تلقى كل الشخصيات الجديدة الأخرى حتفها في الفيلم وهذا يعني أننا سوف نشاهدها في أجزاء لاحقة من ثلاثية أفلام سولو المخطط لها We don't know what has happened to her but the fact that she's able to survive in this gangster underworld means that when you see her again she's a changed woman and it is that that is the crux of her relationship with Han and um, and it's and it's that that leads you as the audience to continue questioning what her motives are why she's there what she whether where where her allegiances lie so it, it makes her a pretty tricky character to follow but she's um, she's very self-assured and um, and knows her own mind that's for sure why we're not told or allowed to know what did happen to her uh, while he was struggling to survive somewhere else? Um, I think that it allows for um, you as the audience to be with Han in guessing, in not knowing, in keeping that on a knife edge so that it, you, you really, you're with him in questioning her. You're with him in wanting so much to believe that everything's going to be just fine. الفكرة المحورية لأفلام حرب النجوم هي الصراع بين الخير الذي تجسده شخصيات الجانب المضيء للقوة مثل فرسان الجداي والشر الذي تجسده شخصيات الجانب المظلم للقوة مثل فرسان السيف هذا الصراع يكون أحيانا نفسيا في داخل الشخصيات نفسها مثل أناكين سكاي ووكر الذي ينضم إلى الجانب المظلم من القوة ويصبح دارث فيدر ثم يعود لاحقا إلى الجانب المضيء ولكن في المسؤول لا يكشف لنا عن الجانب الذي تتخذه كيرا. Is she still the good girl or has she shifted into the dark side? That's the question that's yet to be answered. So this, you don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. as you said, you don't know her. You don't know more than we do about mm -hmm. her. How challenging is that to play the character? Yeah, it definitely poses a lot of questions that you just need to answer for yourself, I think, more than anything. There's so much with acting that the audience will never fully know what it is that you're thinking. And that can be a good safety net, but it can also be kind of murky ground. You want to be able to know that you're telling the right story. And that's where Ron really came in and helped me throughout that and helped kind of pinpoint the most important factors that we wanted to highlight and then maybe have the other stuff going on in the background. I might be the only person who knows what you really are. What's that? Something I noticed that um, you kind of matched up to Alden's performance or to his character uh, in terms of being that obnoxious thief in the beginning and yeah. re rebellious. Was that something you coordinated? together or you just you worked on your character on your own no in the beginning Alden and I were incredibly vocal with each other and very collaborative I think we both as actors work in a very similar way which was great so when and we started filming the the younger things first um, so it was really uh, it was really great to be able to have a kind of um, a teammate in that sense of doing lots of research about where we thought we came from and really understanding the crux of what those characters, what made them tick and kind of trying to get as much of a Bonnie and Clyde feel out of that beginning bit as we could. قبل ثلاثة أعوام جسدت كلارك شخصية مشابهة لكيرا وهي سارة كونر في جزء جينيسيس من سلسلة أفلام تيرمينيتر ولكن خلافا لكيرا كونر كانت معروفة من أجزاء السلسلة الآنفة مما سهل من فهمها وتجسيدها Was it more liberating for you or you wished you knew something more so you can match up to it? Yeah, it's a little bit of both. I kind of, because there was, because there is so much out there already and I do a lot of research on my characters, I really looked back and tried to find something, anything that I could kind of hold on to or, or say, okay, great, that's, 
an absolute guaranteed fact. I was also very worried that the movie might come out and someone might say, didn't she watch that scene where he talks about this other girl that he knew <laughs> younger when, when he was a kid? Um, but I looked and I looked and I couldn't find anything. So I thought, well, then it's up for me to decide. فضلا عن غموض وشح المعلومات عن شخصية كيرا واجهت كلارك عقبة أخرى بعد ستة أشهر من التصوير قام الأستوديو باستبدال المخرجين الأصليين كريستوفر ميلر وفي اللورد بيران هاورد الذي قام بتغيير نبرة الفيلم and when you're doing a movie and it takes nine months to shoot it's going to be difficult to keep a hold of what that is in every single moment not only nine months you had different directors there was a little change, yes. How do you deal with that? And I'm sure when Ron came, he came for a reason, because they wanted to change the tone of the movie. It's, it sounds terrible. It sounds like <laughs> the worst thing that could happen to a movie. And it just was so seamlessly dealt with that the kids <laughs> didn't know um, everything that might have maybe thrown us dramatically off kilter. But, um, was it the first one more comedic? And this one is more dramatic? As an actor, it's incredibly difficult to know what the tone of the movie is until you're sitting in the premiere, because it's down to the editing, it's down to the music, it's down to the choices that the directors want to make, it's down to the story that you want to tell. I always try and give as many options as possible, because that's always a good thing, you know, you always want to make sure that there's, that, you know, that, that you've got a bunch of different things for the editor and for the directors to choose from in the final cut. Um, but as an actor, I'm sure any actor would say the same thing, to know the whole through line of a story of the, the arc of a movie that you're playing a part in is impossible to tell until the end. You okay. can hope you're doing something. <laughs> you never know. بدأت كلارك سيرتها المهنية عام 2009 في أدوار تلفزيونية وسينمائية متواضعة حتى عام 2011 عندما حصلت على دور تينير ستارجرين في مسلسل الخيال لعبة العروش الذي صورت آخر مشاهد لها في موسمه الأخير الشهر الماضي وبهرت كلارك النقاد بتجسيدها شخصية تارجرين التي تتطور من فتاة بسيطة إلى قائدة جبارة عبر فصول المسلسل وفضلا عن تحقيق الجوائز القيمة جذب المسلسل لها ملايين المعجبين من كل أقطار العالم. What nine years now? Is it? Yeah, or? yeah. It'll be ten when we yes. when we release it next year. Ten years. Do you like those kind of characters where you live with them for years? Well, I think it's kind of amazing. You get to you get to show the audience so as a kind of a multifaceted human in that you can spend time getting allowing the audience to kind of get in on their thought process and understand who they are is what makes them tick and I think that's kind of lucky to have as an actor as opposed to just having two hours to kind of cram in as much as you can. <laughs> Do you like it because you learn as as much as the audience? You are, Hugely. You go on this journey with the audience? Yeah I think you know we, experiences shape who we are and we, anyone you yourself yeah. from one year to the next you're a different person slightly yeah. slightly changed by the experiences that might have happened at that time and as an actor, it's exactly the same thing. I'm a different person now than I was when I started filming Star Wars. So to be able to grow with a character, I think is really great and important to kind of give that as much, um, as many different kind of dimensions as possible. رغم رغبتها للأدوار المتكررة إلا أن كلارك تنفست الصعداء عندما فشل فيلم تيرمينيتس جينيسيس مما أدى إلى إلغاء أجزائه اللاحقة التي كان عليها أن تؤدي دور كونر فيها وذلك لأن تصويره كان تجربة سيئة ولكنها تأمل أن تعود وتجسد دور كيرا في حرب النجوم because we don't know much about كيرا now we just, yeah. we, all we got is a puzzle not really a character yeah. that we know uh, and I believe we're gonna go in a, on a, a journey with her in the future, probably. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Were you a fan of uh, Star Wars before you joined into this? Uh... My brother kind of had me had me watching it as a young girl, but uh, but it wasn't. I wasn't as into it as he was when I was a kid, but I kind of just did what my brother told me to do. <laughs> and are you into it now? Yes. Now, as soon as Episode <laughs> Seven came out, I was like, I get it. Now I understand. Amelia, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. أداء دور كيرا في أجزاء لاحقة لفيلم سولو سوف يملأ الفراغ المهني في حياة كلارك بعد ختامها لدور تارجرين ولكن إخفاق الفيلم في تحقيق الأرباح في شباك التذاكر العالمية منذ انطلاقه قبل أسبوعين قد يحول دون صنع أجزاء أخرى له ولكن ذلك لا يعني اختفاء تاما لشخصية كيرا من أفلام حرب نجوم أخرى حسام عاصي بي بي سي